What's up everyone? It's Porter. I'm making this video. This is my new video, my newest, our latest health update. It's been a while since I've made a video and since I made my last video, I've trying I've been trying really 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 hard to focus my mind on becoming a lot stronger because you know with what happened to me it was just crazy it changed my life it changed everything about my body and you know I mean I feel like you know if you've been watching my videos or if you're close to me you you just know but um right now I feel really 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 good I feel like it's probably the strongest I've felt in the last year and a half ever since I got out of the hospital I've never felt this strong for sure I've been really watching what I eat so I'm not eating anything processed at all so like I wake up I started really really watching what I eat like about a week ago I mean really watching everything I eat but anyways every day for breakfast now I'm just eating eggs and fruit and that's it for lunch like squash like just vegetables and fish either fish or chicken and then for dinner you know like tonight I had like noodles that were made out of spinach with some tomatoes and a little bit of lean beef and like last night I had some more salmon I think I, I don't know but I'm really just really eating as healthy as I possibly can and the results that I'm seeing even just after one week of eating just extremely healthy and just real food nothing processed my mouth is completely clearing up I mean the sores in my mouth are completely going away I feel like this is a little dark sorry if you guys can't really see me but um, I'm getting I'm getting a lot stronger a lot stronger I'm working full-time now <clears throat> I feel great I feel great um, there's just so many things to be thankful for like you know being able to wake up again each and every day and being able to brush your teeth being able to go to the bathroom like without feeling any pain being able to eat food without feeling any pain it's truly amazing it's, it's seriously amazing and um, sometimes I lose sight of those things sometimes we all do but we're only human you know nobody's perfect but sometimes I feel like it can sort of be easy to take things for granted but lately I've been so focused and just really happy and um, really been trying to count all my blessings and just trying my best to make sure I don't take any of those things for granted because whenever I was in the hospital I couldn't I couldn't do any of those things for a while I couldn't do any of those things as you all know and like I said you know not looking for sympathy it's just kind of a perspective thing here but now I have an all new perspective and it's a really good one um, I feel amazing my life is amazing I love my life I love the way I feel right now and I can't wait to just get even stronger mentally and physically. I feel great. I feel great. But um, I hope you're all doing really well too. Anyone who, I know there's some people who have like commented on my videos who also have the same disease as me. Really, 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 really important for you guys out there who have pemphigus vulgaris. Seriously watch what you eat seriously watch what you eat what you're putting into your body I know if you have it severely like I did uh, if you're at a point where you can't eat then you know you need to focus your mind and you need to be optimistic and as positive as you possibly can be through the entire process no matter how bad you're feeling and when you can get to the point where you can't eat food again don't eat anything processed you need to be eating you know lean beef like chicken you can eat any meat that's high in fat. Fat's really good for you. I recently found this out, like, you know, everyone says the high fat diet, or low fat diet, high carb diet is good for you. That's not true at all. Um, some people might think that's opinion, but I think that's a fact. 
But anyways, I, I completely cut carbs out of my diet, completely cut sugar out of my diet. I don't eat any sugar at all anymore, none at all whatsoever. And ever since I stopped eating carbs and sugar, I feel great. So I'm literally only eating eggs, fruit, vegetables, chicken, some beef, I mean, but mainly eggs, fruit, vegetables, chicken, fish, nuts, cashews, walnuts, like almonds, stuff like that. Like, it's really, really important for you to watch what you eat. I mean, not just anyone with pemphigus vulgaris, anyone. I mean, everyone should watch what you eat, of course. We live in a country where I think uh, probably 75% of people, whether they realize it or not, are addicted to sugar. And I'm not about to fall into that category. I, I, I mean, my health means too much to me at this point. But um, yeah, so really watch what you eat and it will have an amazing effect on you. If, if you're really taking care of your body and putting good things into your body, your body will repay you and, and you'll feel good in return. I feel amazing right now after just a week of really, really, really watching what I eat. I haven't made a video in a while and honestly, it's because I've been struggling with depression. My depression is kind of something I've had trouble dealing with my whole life. Um, self-esteem issues confidence issues and whatnot but you know like I said I've been eating like this for one week and I feel amazing right now my mind feels great my body feels better so that's one week just imagine how I'm gonna feel in one month I can't imagine how good I'm gonna feel if I feel this great right now so wake up and just make healthy decisions not just talking about food but you need to be thinking positively. I mean, I don't want to say you need to be. I don't want to tell anyone how to live their life, but I'm just so blessed and I'm really, really grateful for my health. And I've never felt this good before. And um, I just also want to have a, take a second to quickly shout out to some of the closest people in my life. I kind of always do this, but um, the last, I mean, the last year of my life has definitely been the most challenging because of this illness that I had, which I no longer have, but I had it. And the people that were closest to me watched me go through a lot of physical pain and mental pain too, but I mean, mostly some serious physical pain, but like my brother Wyatt, Nick, Sam, my mom, Presley, my twin sister, Presley, even my older sister, Paree, Dallas, Dallas, Elena, Lily, Alex, my godparents, I mean, all those people who I just named have had such uh, had, had such a profound impact on my life during this t hard time that they probably don't even realize how much that they helped me out. So to those people, thank you. I love you. If I didn't say your name, you should know who you are. But those people especially, thank you. Um, I'm about to leave you. Flex one more time because I feel amazing, feel really strong, and I can't wait to get even stronger. But, yeah, love you.